Katie's laid-back tribe is easily distracted. There are squabblers and scroungers. As usual, Morris is doing his own thing. He wafts a stink bomb, trying to provoke a quick play fight. But the other male's not having any of it. Eventually, the disorderly troop reaches its destination. This is Katie's answer to the tortoise pen. A giant field of sisal. Sisal is a type of agave plant introduced from Mexico. Farmers harvest the leaves for their strong fibers. But it's the flowers the lemurs are after. The buds are full of sweet nectar and protein-rich pollen. For those who can break into the tough stems, there's food and water there too. Unlike the status-obsessed Ruins Gang, the Museum Gang feeds all together, although mothers make sure they get priority. If the Museum Gang can hold onto the road, these fields will keep Katie and the other mums going until the rains. After a long lunch, Katie leads her troop home. By scent marking the road and occupying the sisal, they've staked their claim. But that claim will only stand if they've got the muscle to back it up. There's movement in the grass up ahead. It's not the Ruins gang. There are far too many of them. Whoever they are, they've found the sisal. Katie should lead her troop to defend their territory but they're clearly outnumbered. While she hangs back, the trespassers vanish. Perhaps they were just passing through. Katie and her posse continue home, heading for the safety of the museum. but they walk straight into an ambush. It's the raiders. And they're not just passing through. This 25-strong gang roams the fringes of the reserve, playing by its own rules. And they want the sisal. Now, Katie and her gang have to fight or surrender their fields. Their little ones just have to hang on. It's a typical Lima skirmish. A haphazard mess of charging, lunging, and aggressive glaring. Suddenly, the raiders scatter again. They've done enough to put the museum gang on notice.
the sisal fields are up for grabs. Katie and her posse are rattled. This was no victory, and if they lose the sisal, they could starve. When they get back to the museum, the troop is still on edge, their confidence shaken. To reassert their claim on home ground, Katie leads a bout of scent marking. Even Morris does his bit. Using bony spurs on his wrists, he digs his scent into a twig. But under Katie's disapproving eyes, his attention soon wanders, and he's stink flirting again. With the usual lack of success. If Katie wants her troop to win their next battle, she's got a lot of work to do.